from Union Avenue Opera as we come to you from our homes both near and far. This summer, our stage remains dark, our halls quiet, and our audience empty. But we know it's only temporary. We'll be together again, presenting the operas you love in a space we can all call home. In the meantime, we've enlisted the help of our directors, along with some familiar faces, in order to bring a little bit of Union Avenue Opera into your home. Enjoy, and we'll see you at the opera again soon. Hello, and welcome to this sneak peek preview of Union Avenue Opera's Tales of Hoffman. I first saw Tales of Hoffman when I was in high school, and it was certainly the first grand opera I had ever seen. The dark storytelling, as well as the extreme vocalism of the three principal artists as they took on role after role, certainly inspired respect and interest in this art form that would become a big part of my life. For Union Avenue Opera's production, we have been lucky enough to assemble a stellar cast, which you will get to see in full in July of 2021. However, today we will hear from Brooklyn Snow, uh, who will play the three heroines in our production. And today she will be singing Olympia's aria for you. Olympia's aria, uh, as you may know, is a showcase of coloratura. And she plays a wind-up doll, which epitomizes Hoffman's desire to find idealized beauty and perfection in women. A little later on, we'll hear the famous Barcarolle from Tales of Hoffman, where Brooklyn will be joined by mezzo-soprano Emma Sorensen, who's playing Nikolaus in our production. Before I leave you today, I want to offer a heartfelt word of thanks to our many patrons, donors, and benefactors who have generously stepped up and are helping us to survive this COVID epidemic and be able to present a new season for you in 2021. Without you, we certainly could not have done it. Also, this generosity is allowing us to be able to offer some small level of compensation to our artists during this 2020 postponed season. Thank you. The Tales of Hoffman is a haunting tale of one man's desire for the perfect woman. Hounded by his otherworldly nemesis, and accompanied by Niklaus, his ever-faithful friend, Hoffman seems forever unlucky in love. Darkly playful, this magical tale of thwarted love, art, and revenge depicts Hoffman's descent into madness and intoxication in faithful detail. so excited to share with you the doll song aria from the tales of Hoffman. This is sung by Olympia, who is Hoffman's first love, or so he thinks. Little does he know that she's just a mechanical doll. I hope you enjoy. Oh, my God. 
wonderful for a director to encounter a work that already has at its core a very strong vision on the part of the authors. And that's certainly the case with uh, The Tales of Hoffman. The show has a beautiful, intriguing construct. One might even say that it is one of the first, if not the first, concept opera. That is, it does not have a narrative that proceeds from left to right. Rather, it's a series of small narratives. It's important to understand that these three tales, that is the, the centerpiece of the opera, are couched within this larger frame. That is, it takes place within a tavern. And these tales are told by the author himself, the historical figure E.T.A. Hoffman, who is a little drunk, quite a bit impassioned, a bit bitter, uh, his stories reflect his state at the time of telling. The stories are fantastical. They are weird and bizarre and odd. Um, they're wonderful. There's plenty within these tales and the larger tale to come away with a variety of themes, interpretations. It's also gorgeous music. The piece you're about to hear is called Belle Nuit au Nuit d'Amour, and it is an incantation of the poetic beauty of night and of love. This piece was actually written for an earlier opera in Offenbach's career, um, but has been adapted as a duet between Julieta and Niklaus. Julieta is the love interest of Hoffman's life and uh, the opera, and I actually play the muse of poetry in disguise as his best man and confidant. Et ton fils, sans retour au 
Thank you for joining us tonight. We hope you'll join us again on July 31st as we preview The Barber of Seville. Take care, and we'll see you at the opera.